What's up, everybody, and welcome to Very Real Tournament, a comedy battle cast that pits two very real opponents against each other in a very real fight. And we're doing this one last time, gang. One last ride with my one boys. last time. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, not what my schedule says, I'm but I'm, so. that's fine with me. Sorry, man. It's the last one. We yeah. have to. It has to be this way. It right. makes narrative sense. We're, it makes thematic sense. We're still on the schedule, but I think we're just coming back to like play shoots and ladders. Or yeah, something. those are the rest yeah. of the <laughs> very real tournament is getting a little bit more literal. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a shoots and ladders movie? Not yet. Whoa. There's probably one in the, development. Yeah, right? the rock is attached to it. Okay. <laughs> he, he plays the ladder. That's it's Hobbs and Shaw, but shoots and ladders. Instead. That's what happens oh, yeah. in Hollywood now. Is whenever somebody like turns in a draft, they just like attach the rock to it yeah. and hope and pray <laughs> that he'll be in it. Black Adam, where's it at? Yeah, <laughs> they attached the, he, he's yeah. attached to that for years now. I, I thought you were going to say they just attach whatever board game to it. Like, here's a movie called You're Welcome. Well, we're calling that one Sorry instead. <laughs> Sorry. They they fucking attached The Rock to Black Adam before I think they greenlit Shazam. Yeah, they were like, we're going to make this first. Yeah. <laughs> because who is Zachary Levi? Get, a, get Chuck out of here. Get, get the Dwayne. Chuck out. Get oh, yeah. I just, out. That took me a second. Yeah, he was, yep. I'm with it. Get the Dwayne in here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's right. And you know what else is right? Everyone's what? decision to listen to this episode of this podcast. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you made the right that, one so. jumping in here. We got a great fight for you guys. Like I said, it's definitely the last one. Mm -hmm. And that's because we have the last action hero. Yes. Jack Slater's in the building. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And we also have the last samurai. Turns out, the last samurai that ever existed, he was white. Right. Yeah. I what didn't know that. Tom <laughs> May Potter, guys. Because right? he barely outlived Ken Watanabe at the end of the movie. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I made it. I'm the last one. <laughs> hey, did you guys see that? It's me. <laughs> and everyone's really upset about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So we got a couple of fun action boys for you guys this week. Last boys. Last boys. The last yeah. boys. Whoa. Whoa. Let's do it. I'm Nick Potter. I'm Joey Potter. Colin C. Corey Music. And it's about to get very real. All right, guys, before we get into the last boys, mm -hmm. I need to talk about something. I want to hear about it. So I'm in the market for a laptop. Okay. okay. Oh, like, okay. I'm trying to get my productivity up. Mm -hmm. While I'm sitting on the couch doing nothing. Absolutely. Because it's really hard for me to get up from that couch. Yeah, Ooh, I get it. Number okay. one. All right. Then come into my room where my big, beautiful desktop is. Mm -hmm. And then I set everything up. I have to bring my water in. I have to yeah. bring my tea in. Oh, right. yeah. I have to like, oh, no, I forgot my e-cig. Let me go back. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. And then Man. I get in here and I start working. And then it's real hot because mm -hmm. it's just like close the door and it's just real, real it gets real musky. Right. It yeah. sounds like this is yeah. a really inefficient and arduous process. Yeah. It sounds enjoy. like a tragedy. Go yeah. on. So I'm trying to get uh, a new laptop and I'm also trying to replace my tablet. So I'm looking for a two-in-one like laptop. Joey, I'm going to end this conversation right now. It's called Alienware. No, whoa, it's not. Whoa. They don't have a two-in-one. Two, yeah, I didn't. I'm not two trying to spend four thousand dollars on a regular computer five. that has a gr neon green light on it. Yeah, I, I'm honestly like the the market that I'm looking for is as much money that I spent on this like beefy boy desktop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know it is what it is. So I've done a ton of research on this shit. I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck, trying Obviously. to get, you know, not outdated shit, you know, I'm trying to get more top of the line stuff, whatever. The problem is, is you go into like Best Buy because sure. who the fuck else sells like high end laptops? Right. You know, we don't have a micro center. Yeah. I'm not going to Walmart. Amazon. Now, Joey, oh, can I ask you this question? Hmm. Does anyone actually buy anything from Best Buy? I buy 4K, 4K Blu-rays. Oh, okay. So they're <laughs> like, oh, thank God he showed up again. He actually buys this it's overpriced him, garbage. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing is I'm scared of the IRS, so I need to buy it in cash. Absolutely. So I don't have, uh, you know, $1,000 plus moving through my account. Sure. I'm okay. hoping really right. that one day, since Amazon is taking over, Yo, that Corey. you'll be able to just funnel <laughs> cash to Amazon. Like, yes. We'll all have the little <laughs> tubes from Amazon to our house, and we mm -hmm. can just send them cash. 
and like someone on the other side receives our dirty bills, and, <laughs> and they like send us underwear in the in the and tube. And it comes or back squeaky clean. Yep. Corey, Whoa. you gave me a look when I said I'm scared of the IRS, like yeah. I'm fucking crazy. Maybe. I make $8,500 on paper. I do not actually make that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I am on like uh, universal health care. What? N- not universal. We don't have that. I'm on, I'm on <laughs> like wish you were. MHS, yeah. like, you know, free health care, Medicaid yeah. shit. Yeah. Affordable Care Act. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I can't apply for that and they're like show us your bank statements and i just look like a fucking drug dealer right so i'm trying to buy this in cash so i can just have that right. whatever i think you're skipping over the whole the whole problem here you've got this beautiful computer right here mm-hmm. uh, that you built yourself all right so car With battery money that you was that was uh, hidden right. In the government. right well <laughs> not illegally good job by the way right <laughs> yeah so Corey's trying to do his fucking job right oh, now, God. Joey. Right. Yeah. And by uh, my job, I mean being legal. I gave yeah. you a beer, so that means you, like, attorney-client privilege, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You're drinking sure. my Into beer. these microphones. So I paid you. I recall doing that in court all the time. The beer. Yeah. You need to take a battery out of one of your many Honda elements mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> stick it in a backpack uh, and just have this thing make this computer portable dude <laughs> yeah like yeah. forget no, the laptop here. just have the power i haven't gotten to my point yet so i go oh, into okay. a best buy yeah and i uh, they're again, very excited like again I, to see him <laughs> like i said i've done a ton of right. research on this probably like 10 hours of just mm-hmm. like you know you're staring up of how to make it night. through best buy without talking to somebody yeah and uh so i get there and i'm like let us know if you need uh, go, go talk to me i'm the microsoft tech and i'm like i'm kind of looking between these two things and then they just give me the spiel yeah. that they've probably been handed like a i can't think of a better word than press release i'm yeah, um, like right. this shit and it's like i want to know if we could come up with like a code word for employees that you can give to them mm-hmm. so you can politely and non pretentiously say that you know what you're fucking talking about. Okay. Mm. Okay. And yeah, in a way that makes them on camera look productive. Yeah. Right? Like, because you don't want to just shut somebody down because then they don't get to do their spiel. Their bosses are watching the camera because I have to reiterate no one does anything at Best Buy. They never <laughs> right. buy anything. None of those guys have anything to do. The guy, so- Geek Squad, is like screaming at you from across the way, like, hey! Hey, I need a paycheck too. Why don't you walk over here? Just bring a blender in. I need something to work <laughs> did you on. Download you download my advice? Yeah, did you download some bad pornography recently? Come I talk to me about up. it. Yeah. My boss is staring at the camera right now. No judgment. I've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like when you get on the phone with like Spectrum or something and they're like, did you unplug your router? And it's like, mm-hmm. can we skip four steps ahead? Yeah, yeah. I g- thank you for the effort. I think, yeah. I think to your response, maybe one day. So, uh, Joey, I think uh, you need help. For, I don't know why they know your name before you provided <laughs> mm-hmm. it, but let's assume. Hey, Joey, uh, you need help with these laptops? No, I'm good. How's I mean, your day? And I, then you just talk about your day and everyone wins. Yeah, yeah but the then boss just is happy kind of there. Back in that back room. And I'm still trying to like, because the reason why I'm in the store is because I've done all the research I can, but it's like, I need to touch these things. Mm. I need to be like, yeah. I can't read how shallow okay. the keyboard is anymore. I have to fucking <laughs> touch the keyboard. Right. Then agree that the guy can stand behind you at this point whenever you grab something. Yeah, yeah grab that. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And you grab that. That's what I was going to say. Because they, like, sometimes they, like, get me where it's like, hey, you're a person that works here. It's like going into GameStop and you start to talk about games and then the person's eyes glaze over, and it's like, you work here. Yeah. Like, why did you trap me in this it's conversation? Called, it's called GameStop for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I hate it so much. I've had people on GameStop try to flex on me yeah. and stuff, and I just want a way, I want, like, a universal, like, service industry, like, code word of, like, I know what I'm talking about. Or when you go into, a, like, a restaurant, mm-hmm. and you just, you're just, like, getting some beers with your boys, mm-hmm. and then the waiter walks away super disappointed. Yeah. And it's just like, we're all servers. Like, right. we aren't going to just be like, yeah. you know, double flip you off and fart out of the restaurant with a, like, you know, a $2 tip or whatever. It's like, we're going to hook you up. Yep. But it's just like, I can't stand this, like, they treat me like the lowest common denominator. Right. When it's this like, is I Applebee's. need help yeah. or, yeah, <laughs> everything's yeah. Lower Applebee's. your expectations. Joey, well, everything is Applebee's. that you can do that's also super suave. Okay. So when they come up with the spiel... You just kind of make some, you know, pretty, 
I don't want to say intense eye contact, but like solid eye contact. Okay. And you hold out your hand mm-hmm. and you say, "I appreciate you." And then you <laughs> and then you slide him a five. Whoa. <laughs> Then they know that they're appreciated. Then they can see that they're appreciated because they got $5 in their right. hand now. And you come off looking so fucking cool. Right. And you're burning, cool move. you're burning some of that money to hide you from the government. <laughs> from yeah. the taxes. Okay. That's yeah. a good okay. point. Yeah. yeah. But I want to write that off at the same time. Well, you time. can write yeah. it off as charity. Uh, yeah, it's charity. <laughs> That's I can't handed afford... a dude at Best Buy $5. So he just leave me alone. So he leave me alone. If you can't dude. afford to go to Best Buy and pay the tip, too, then don't go to Best Buy is exactly. what I say. I, right. I went there... <laughs> I went there last night, and a dude hit me with the spiel of the Best Buy credit card. And in the middle of his spiel, and he's like, "Yeah, if you waste a thousand, or if you spend a thousand dollars, he really was, say he waste? Did. What? He accidentally <laughs> said waste. Yikes! He's like, okay, man, I know where your head's at yeah. now. Wow, <laughs> you know that nobody comes to Best Buy except that they're wasting money. If you're dumb, I mean smart. That guy's Amish, and he's just like, I gotta go further into the belly of the beast. But yeah, okay. I guess I can I can burn some of that uh, completely legal tender that I have yeah. obtained through legal yeah. means that are completely taxed. Congratulations, by the way, on being legal. Yeah. So, so when the legal. IRS comes after you and they start giving you the spiel, you just say I appreciate it, <laughs> slide <laughs> five, five, and five, and you're good to go. go. All right. All right. Like, oh, this guy gets it. And what a cool move, man! Thanks, guys. Yeah. I yeah. really appreciate That's the help. It. Yeah. One more bullet dodge for Joey Potter. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well. Can't and get me IRS. <laughs> you know who's not dodging bullets, guys? One of these fighters in today's very real tournament. That's true. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool segue, right? Yes. I slid you guys all five dollar bills while I did. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> it was a great segue, everybody. <laughs> Nick, how am I going to write this off? I... <laughs> hey man, uh, pay it forward. All right. I fucked up a Thank pay you, it forward Joey. line uh, in Starbucks the other day. Me and my wife were going to do something shitty that we didn't want to do, but it was, a, you know, an obligation. And we were like, let's make ourselves Had feel better. Had to take better. your daughter to the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this dumb obligation. <laughs> You're at the doctor's She's office. She's fine. Like, You're like, man, a doctor's visits are stupid. Am I right? And the doctor's just like, um, no. And the doctor gives you the spiel about disease. Yeah, and, and I slip her that five. Yep. And she yeah. shuts up. Your daughter's fine. How much can I pay you to not vaccinate my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> The guy, $5. someone in front of us, she was trying, the lady at the window was trying to be like, oh, your total's like, you know, 347 or whatever. And we're like, well, we got two drinks, so that's not our so fuck you. order. <laughs> and then we zoomed away. My car went up on two wheels. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, no. it. And she was like, oh, I guess the guy in front of you paid for yours and we were like great thanks and we just zoomed off <laughs> and as soon as i like got out of line i was like oh no we should have we broke the like pay it forward line like and his order was cheap the person behind us right. was cheaper than mine i could have been nice <laughs> and done a f- kept the thing going and but i didn't somewhere out in the world Haley joe osmond's shedding a tear in his giant yeah. squished face and kevin space <laughs> yeah. kevin spacey is burnt he, to death he spends a lot of his time going to starbucks lines and trying to get the pay it forward spirit going Which, right. and then he just sits in his car like in a yeah. ball cap and watches and he's like fuck that guy <laughs> yeah. ended it immediately <laughs> this small like, face like a slinky going down the steps it never makes it all the steps it yeah just, man yeah and he's very sad about right. it so it's tom cruise so... am i right he pay it, pays it forward every day with the great movies he's made. Yes, mm-hmm. right. for me, he makes them. I enjoy them. That's a pay it forward. And then once I, again, I end the line right there. Yeah, you're actually paying it forward into Scientology by going to his movies. Oh, okay, so let's dodge perfect. that bullet, and we can mention Arnold Schwarzenegger instead. He also pays <laughs> well, also, it forward. Hold on, right. I watched uh, the Last Samurai, which um, I didn't pay for. Okay. So sure. and it came out a long time ago. I don't know if he was in Scientology then, but uh, ah. you know, I never paid for that movie. Know, probably. I haven't paid for a movie in a long time. Yeah, good. The internet exists now. <laughs> Come on. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got Arnold. We got Cruz in this fight today. Jack Slater versus Nathan Algren. 
That's why we use the movie titles and not their names. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. that sucks. Everyone's like Jack Slater versus Nathan Algren. What is that? Nathan and then Algren's when a it's like, name. and then when it's a fight like uh, Jumper versus Push, I have to put the actual actors' names. Yeah, so the you guys will know so what we're talking about. Still know what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, okay. Today the teams are Team Last Action Hero, me and my brother Joey. Chip. Team. Last Samurai, Colin, Corey. Yee. Japanese flute. I can't do one. <laughs> oh. But that's that's what would happen right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh okay guys. Um Colin, Corey, do you want to go first and tell us a little bit about Tom Cruise and how um he became the last samurai? Sure. I mean it's debatable if he was the last samurai. But I think so. Yeah. The movie said so. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You know what? Forget it. I'm dumb. The so anyway. Emperor at the end was like, Thank you, Thank the you, last, last samurai. samurai. I think handshake. Like, Do it. Well, maybe samurai isn't is like deer. Like samurai can be plural. It's yeah. not samurais. Uh, okay. It's so true. it it's true. maybe yep. the last of them. Of them. Which is a the great Mohicans. Yeah. Which is a great yeah. segue. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, sim- so uh, Last Samurai, Dances with Wolves 2, is sort yeah. of, uh, it's the same thing. It involves uh, Tom Cruise, who plays a U.S. Army Captain, Nathan Algren. takes place in 1876. It, if we were to set the scene a little bit, the whole idea is that, you know, Japan has had a, a period of isolation, which is very famous. It's called, uh, there's some term for it, uh, Sokoko, I, th- I think it was. But anyway, they open the doors up and they go, hey, let's let's get caught up with everything. Because all we've right. had for the past 200 years is swords and shit. Yeah, and we samurai. need to get some of those bullets and what have you. But also at the same time, Japan is still in every way and always so much better than us. Right. Well, that's this is yeah. when they turned it around. Tom Cruise really turned it around. This them. is your right. movie, by the way. They were like, we have swords, but I hear that they have tiny swords yeah. that fly through the air really fast. Yes. yes. <laughs> Small, so, tiny swords. Yeah. They're called the stars or something. <laughs> so anyway, he's sent over, this, the year's 1876. It's about uh, a couple of years after this regime in, uh, in uh, Japan called the Meiji Restoration, where they open the doors back up and go, we need some of that stuff going on. You know, so we can surpass right. you in every fucking the, exactly. way. Right. Yeah. The United States also kind of forced those doors open <laughs> historically. Yeah, they, did. they did. They definitely did. Don't like, get me wrong. Yeah. Like, hey, they were like, we, the United States was like, we really want a PlayStation. Yeah. Right. They showed up with a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> Make that happen yeah. for us. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> where's that Nintendo at? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out Grover Cleveland's a hentai aficionado. <laughs> we got to get that going. You don't want his cynicals on you. Yeah. So Tom Cruise is recruited after famously, not famously, I guess, infamously, like <laughs> botching this crazy presentation of a gun or whatever, mm-hmm. to go across the lands to Japan and to sort of get everyone up the snuff with a you know Western you know military stuff. Ends, ends up getting kidnapped by Ken Watanabe, who was a samurai. Is it not Watanabe? What, yeah. It all, is. Right. all right. What's he said it earlier? Watanabe. Watanabe. Sorry. I, yeah. I don't mean to Sorry. offend anybody. Watanabe. And he gets kidnapped by Watanabe, and he kind of learns the way of the samurai and Bushido and their code of conduct, very mm-hmm. similar to chivalry. And uh, Tom Cruise throughout that displays amazing resilience, like indomitable will, which oh, we've said sure. before, which is kind for of sure. his thing, the whole thing. Even what what what's it called again? Watanabe? Watanabe. Watanabe is even like, wow, that guy keeps getting up. That's pretty cool. Should be in my army. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to kill him, but he keeps killing a lion. Yeah, yeah, he keeps have killing superpowers. Yes. Also a dream with a lion, but mainly it's him getting up. That's pretty right. cool. Oh, you just stabbed my leader in the throat. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, is that my bro- is it brother-in-law? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, his brother-in-law. Yeah. Exactly. And then he's like, anyway, uh, sister, why don't you just hang out with this guy that killed your husband? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll fuck. Well, yeah, him. in that Grim culture, fuck him the whole time. They can <laughs> hang out with your kids or whatever. Uh, yeah. So, Indomitable Will. He's a big alcoholic. Pretty much the reason why this is a, should be a sequel to Dances with Wolves is because Al Green's kind of just Kevin Costner if he did a second movie because he keeps talking about man those Amer- Native Americans that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I gotta do this all over again. Yeah, it should have been a, a sequel, spiritual sequel for sure. Yeah, Dances with Samurai. You could have yeah. had a whole I do, the last I do dancing say, samurai. Like I wasn't looking forward to either of these movies. Mm-hmm. I'd never seen Last Action Hero, and I had seen Last Samurai, but I was probably what ten. Or whatever, and I started watching Last uh, Samurai first, which ended up being a mistake. 
I watched it first and I was just like, all right, I think I can get into this. And then it's just like 45 minutes of Tom Cruise learning Japanese culture and my eyes started to glaze over, <laughs> but it was so fucking captivating. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then the ninjas attack. The best part of the and movie. then the ninjas attack. And then like all the, and it's just like, I was captivated the whole, what a fantastic fucking movie. Yeah. It's yeah, a great it's movie. Pretty it's good. really good. <laughs> it's not a fantastic bad. movie. I'm like tearing up in the end. And then I had to watch last action uh, I th- hero. I thought I remembered it being more white savory, but yeah. it's really not that bad. It's, it's not it's, dances you know, with wolves. Bad. It's not, yeah. it's not, it has its issues maybe, but yeah. I think that they pay a lot of attention to Japanese culture. The, mm-hmm. The movie's gorgeous or whatever, but anyway, back to uh, Al Green. He's really good with guns because he's a big, he's a great military leader. Because mm-hmm, he learns, American. yeah, he learns yep. real fast. By the way, like he's a fast learner. I'm the master of the tiny fast swords that fly <laughs> through the air. Yes, <laughs> he learns samurai culture in about I don't know six months or something like that, yeah. and can like fight yeah. five he can samurai speak by himself. Fluent Japanese in like four months. It's a yeah, real Dark a Knight Rises scenario. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's literally they keep track of time. It's just the winter yeah. and he's like all right i can speak japanese now perfect yeah. Good. i'm a genius <laughs> some cute uh, montages with the kid teaching him a language and there you go you got right. it also he's uh colin and i were talking about this he's really good he has this weird i don't know colin would you say it's like a reverse sherlock holmes power yeah, it's a reverse sherlock holmes <laughs> we, me and Corey came to the same uh stupid ass joke like Separately, separate yeah. from each other that sherlock holmes can do a uh, foresight fight where he predicts yeah. what's going to happen and right visualizes it. to the solar plexus. Tom Cruise does a hey, hindsight, hindsight fight where he's like, <laughs> I already fought. All right, now let me uh, yeah. relive that fight in slow-mo. Ah. Yeah. Wow, look how cool I am. Yeah. Then he takes I should have thought about metal, that. Oh, metal snapshot all... and he says click out yeah, loud. Right. It's all t- in blue tint too, which is really, that's, that's dreams in The Last Samurai. It's very... Uh, Post Mission Impossible Two, mm-hmm. where Mission Impossible Two was long hair Tom Cruise mm-hmm. in slow mo the whole fucking time, yeah. and he's just like whoosh, whips his hair, and it's like I'm Tom fucking. Tom Cruise Cruise was looking so good in that movie. Yeah. Well, movie was bad looking. Good it was movie. really bad. Yeah. Well, I did a movie with John Woo, so I might as well just keep going that direction and just do the Last Samurai. I guess yeah. was his thought. Either way. <laughs> Pretty good with swords. He learns everything real fast. Slash also has the Western stuff on his on his table with right. the guns and everything. He's he got t- a little bit of everything. He takes a lot of bullets, and it mm. just doesn't really do anything. So. I, I'd argue that's really twice in that movie he should have been murdered, but he ever even at the end where the guy's like, "Oh, no quarter, Tom Cruise. Are you sure? I'm sure." He gets quartered. Well, the only yeah. way to it? the only what? way to die in Japanese culture is to commit seppuku, right? Yeah, like, seppuku. Yeah. That's the all the soldiers were getting shot yeah. with the Gatlin gun, and then they had to get up and se- seppuku themselves. Yeah, yeah the one guy had to do that who uh, betrayed him, and he yeah, yeah right. It. Even in the beginning, he's just straight taking like spears to the chest yes. and the shoulder, and he's just like, "No, nah, I'm still here." Yeah, that Whatever. indomitable will, right? Yeah, I'm going to use a broken flag stick to stab you in the throat. Yeah, it was a pretty great. cool scene, not yeah. going to lie. Yeah. That's what, what great, Ken wants to be. He's like, wow, what a cool move. I got <laughs> to get this guy on my team. That was my yeah. brother-in-law. That guy was an asshole. Thanks a lot, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I don't think this movie would have survived if it wasn't Tom Cruise and Ken Watanabe. Yeah. Yep. Well, and also, the, I forget the woman's name, but the, she's really good, too. Like, it's a good cast. Yeah. It's a solid cast. Everybody's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Anyway. That's why Bulletproof Monk didn't stand the test of time. Because <laughs> it was Sean William Scott. Man. <laughs> so and ma- the great Chow Young-Fat. Like, that guy's right, great. Right. Yeah, yeah but he Our was also in amazing. Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, so. yeah. Took he him down. Was Crouching Tiger. Well. If only yeah. Sean William Scott had been in Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> I would have watched it. It would be great. Absolutely. I, would have, I haven't seen it, but I would have checked it out <laughs> by now. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, <laughs> For sure. Tom Cruise, great sword fighting guy. He learns everything. That's pretty much, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Joey, let's uh, let's talk about Jack Slater. We got Jack Slater. And I, I ran into a similar issue when I, uh, I did a double feature one time. I went and saw Arrival mm-hmm. and then... Uh, like crushed a six pack with my boy <laughs> yeah. and watched That's Doctor right. Strange. Whoa! Okay. And it's like <laughs> I like Doctor movies. Strange, but I just had watched Arrival, right? And I almost fell asleep during Doctor Strange. Joey, don't fall asleep. It's me, <laughs> Doctor Strange, by Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> wow, uh, I'm American. But yeah, that was kind of the same thing here. Where I, I was like, again, like tearing up at the end of Last Samurai. I was like, oh my god, I love this movie. And then I watched like Cheese Fest. Like you didn't oh, tear up at the end of no. Last Action Hero. <laughs> you didn't? No, that did kid's not. life sucks. That kid's life sucks so bad. <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminded really me sad. of Kazam. Yeah, <laughs> that, the kid in in Last Action Hero is less shitty for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely less less of a, a, a shitty kid. But yeah, because he actually has like a real reason to be upset. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, Schwarzenegger, yeah. give my father a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> 
No way. <laughs> Fuck the Zam. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so Jack Slater is an indestructible LAPD officer, ultimate action movie star, can't die. Not star, character. Character. Yeah. You're right. That's important. You're right. This movie, if anyone hasn't seen it, is, is so meta. It's a lot of fun. Um, it is and, a lot of fun. Yeah. But ultimate it's just like, cheese ball, cheese, yeah, fine, um, you know. So, I, yeah, we have, I mean, your typical, like, I mean, larger than life, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Like, almost more larger than life than his iconic roles because the point of it is that he is so larger than life yeah. in this world. It's like a magnifying glass over top of all of it. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, he, uh, you know, he's fucking driving a car on two wheels. He's, you know, not missing shots. He's jumping off of buildings, like, you know, just doing like some like, you know, giant man parkour, some Arnold Schwarzenegger parkour. (laughs) Where it's just like, can you really do he that? He does a lot of running on top of vehicles. Yes. Yeah. It, it's like multiple scenes of that. Well, that's a great intro to his character at the very beginning, where like just, there's like what? a thousand cop cars outside of this building. Yeah, I was like, And you like, just see what? his feet walking across a bunch of cop <laughs> Snake cars. Snake skin cowboy boots. Yeah. I was like, what am I watching? Lighting this Because I barely even knew the premise yeah. of Last Action Hero when I, when I started watching it. Yeah, and you see a thousand cop cars. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was just, just like, overkill. What is happening? And then I kind of started to understand what was going on. But yeah, yeah. the The basic premise being this kid Danny Madigan is really into uh, the character, the actor Arnold Schwarzenegger in the real world. He loves his action movies. There's uh, a fourth Jack Slater movie coming out, um, and he gets. Uh, <laughs> This is so 90s. A magical ticket from an old, wise uh, movie projectionist slash theater owner. And when he's seeing the movie, he gets transported into the movie Jack Slater 4, where Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Jack Slater, and he is the best ever at everything. Right. Mm -hmm. And he just keeps telling Arnold the whole time that they're in a movie. Yeah. And... uh, Comedy ensues. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I like meta humor, so it was fun to me yeah. for him to like be pointing out the things that make this a movie. There's a cartoon cat over there, and they're like, he's a good cop. Third <laughs> movie with Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, man, all time. Was that Danny Danny Jr.? Yeah, that was Danny DeVito's uh, voice. Was Jr. The cat. And yeah, yeah. technically, yeah. this movie as well. Uh, not only is he a badass cop that's unkillable, he's also because he's Arnold Schwarzenegger, king of the one-liners. Mm-hmm. Because my favorite, obviously, is no sequel for you when he shoots Charles Dance (laughs) at the very end. Yeah. There's also a great one at the beginning where just randomly he says this, like, mouthful of words to this guy. You know, first they're like, you can't go in there, Slater. And he, the late Tina Turner comes up and she's like, this is the lieutenant chief of police. And he just, like, elbows him in the face. Yeah, punches (laughs) him in the face. He's like, call. this is the lieutenant governor. And he punches him in the face and he's like, call me when the real governor shows up. Yeah. But then he's like, don't let him in. And the cop is standing there and he says, you want to be a farmer? Here's a couple of acres. And then kicks him in the nuts into the air. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of kicks into the air. It's very great. A lot of ragdoll physics yeah. in this movie. And the other thing is, yeah, that's in the movie world. Yeah. But when he leaves the movie world, he still kind of has that strength. He ripped like a cab door off. Right? Yeah. So maybe some of the like luck, like coincidence stuff. Doesn't necessarily translate into the real world, but he is still larger than life. Yeah, and wants to fuck that kid's mom. So right? he had, for he, sure, maybe fuck that kid's so mom. So he loses like the domino effect, but still kind of gets the the strength and the yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's also Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did you see those yeah. arms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. what that Texas door. What off. was his name in the fictional world? It was Arnold. No, Arnold. that was he kept saying you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's like, "Who's this Arnold Braunschweiger?" Yeah. Oh, okay. He would okay. get his own name wrong. Yeah. Oh, Funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, uh, in the real world, he's not nearly as good at taking bullets as Nathan Algren is. He gets shot in the chest once, and he's like, "No." But it does mysteriously transport to his like. L- like upper like abdomen yeah, yeah. it's really weird yeah. <laughs> like that's it a huge goof in like the solar plexus like yeah. right in the middle and then it's just like they cut and it's just like on his side and he's just like help right under yeah. his titty <laughs> yeah and man charles dance is such a great villain in that movie so good Fuck. 
I loved every second of it. It was a little too long. I won't say every second. It is there was a, a few seconds. It yeah, was like, it was over two hours. Yeah, it's like I didn't know right. movies that. in the nineties could be over two hours. Right, well, yeah, that was the, reserved for like yeah. just the Godfather. The third <laughs> act is also very different. Yeah, and so it feels like a new movie has yeah. started. Once they and enter that, the real world, it's just like oh, there's like another movie happening. <laughs> right, right. That part kind of goes on a little bit, but mm-hmm. man, I like just that that awesome shot where he gets in the car and he drives and it's a one shot and you just see them drive down the road and just head on yeah into each other that was a good one there was actually some really good cinematography in this like it was over the top in the movie but even the real world stuff it wasn't just like you would expect like a blank head on 90s movie just like oh just get it it was like there was some really interesting i mean john mctiernan the guy that did uh die hard oh was it oh yeah yeah Yeah, i wasn't sure yeah a lot of great movies from that guy until 2003, and then he started fucking wi- illegally wiretapping people and went to jail. So what? He thought yeah. he was on the show The wow. Wire? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Joey, he directed the movie Rollerball with oh, Chris wow. with L- was it LL Klein cool and LL Cool J. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And Rebecca Romaine. And like, he was like, he hired a private investigator to like, listen in on one of the producers because he thought that they were like trying to change the ideas and also maybe his ex-wife as well uh he's like can i get a two for one (laughs) mr private detective and so i read all about this like long legal battle that ensued where he like got a plea deal but then he didn't then they rescinded and and he spent some time in jail and hasn't directed a movie holy shit dude chris klein that's where i recognize that fucker he is a villain in the newest flash season whoa that i was like why do i know that face like who is it was chris klein yeah (laughs) talking like batman the whole fucking time who wait who? Not talking about American Pie at all, or like no. an election, or any. Of Wait, that. who was he yeah. in Last Action Hero? Chris Klein. No, he's not. I was, oh, he I brought he, him up. He brought he's up Rollerball. Oh, Rollerball. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, he's the main guy. <laughs> trying to piece Sorry, it's one of the reasons why you don't know who Chris Klein is. Yeah. It's a Rollerball. <laughs> roller yeah. I've seen the poster for that movie yeah. a lot. Chris Klein went to obscurity <laughs> jail for several years yeah. after that. The director went to real jail. He went to obscurity. Don't jail. worry, he's in the Flash, talking like Batman. Nice, right? Oh, you still watch? People still watch The Flash, and it's still on TV. Wow! Shit! Shit! Yeah. shit. Okay. Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's happening. All right. Well, let's just breeze right by that <laughs> to talk about <laughs> this, this fight. This fight. So we got to decide, guys. We got a real boy and a fake boy. Yes. Yeah. We also got an 1876 boy and a 1993 boy. Yeah. Right. The last boys. But <laughs> we also have a real fake boy. Arnold Schwarzenegger because he's ends up being real and we have a fake real boy mm-hmm. because Tom Cruise's character was like five different historical figures <laughs> mashed, <laughs> mashed into one, one and the timetable <laughs> didn't match up and there it was doesn't. a lot of uh, faking it yeah it makes sense so I don't know I think there's some interesting things to play with here mm-hmm. I think it'd be hilarious if like a boy saw The Last Samurai and got a golden ticket and got Taken into the movie and got stabbed oh, immediately, like in the first five minutes. <laughs> well, yeah, because he realizes he's just the goofy sidekick at one point, right? And that he probably can die because goofy sidekicks can sometimes perish. Well, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I mean, uh, Timothy Shaw is the goofy sidekick in The Last Samurai. He's playing the most British person ever, which is what he always plays, yeah. by the way. It's true. Just so you know. So, you know, there's psychics galore. Is that worm tongue or yep. whatever? Yeah. Capital! Old. Oh. He's talking like, oh my god. He's just like, oh my god. Yeah. It's every cliche you've ever seen. Right. So I think he gets sucked into The Last Samurai. Okay. Uh, and then his father gets murdered again. Whoa. And then he just has to live with the murderer for uh, like a year. <laughs> how are those kids not like riddled with PTSD? How are uh, they not like. Jack Slater. How are they not the killing reason. animals? No, I mean The Last Samurai. Mm-hmm. Because. Oh. The Japanese that, are so much better than us. And they, uh, they yeah. respect their father's death for a reason. Right. They're yeah. just like, oh, Bushido. well, well, I'm upset at you a little bit at first, Tom Cruise. But then we're buddies. Yeah. Yeah, because he did a good job and killing like, him. And that guy, deserved, he died honorably and all that stuff. I don't right. know. I think those kids would be like in the back, like torturing animals and stuff. And, like, <laughs> yeah, different have, cultures. Like, maybe eyes. they just. Uh, yeah, cardboard cutouts of Tom Cruise's face yeah. on the <laughs> right. animals. Yeah. Yeah, like the, oh, that. they greenlit Top Gun two to try to tank his career. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's a long, it's a long con. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. It's a long con. Uh, okay, a long so, con. I mean, maybe it's that thing that actually happens in 
the last action hero where Charles Dance starts pulling out like all the other bad guys from from movies. And he's like, oh, this white guy in this Japanese movie, he's got to be the bad guy, right? <laughs> the <best laughs> he, just mis- <laughs> he just totally misinterprets it. <laughs> well, yeah, I hate the end, cultural he, appropriation. He, he, right. What's that? He killed his brother-in-law? He's oh, the bad man. guy. He's the villain. Well, he's like, wait a second. You're 65 years old and you look like that? Okay, you're a vampire. Not <laughs> yeah. <with> me. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because at I the end of uh, you. Last Action Hero, uh, Death comes out from uh, Seven, 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 Seven Seal. Seal. Fucking yeah. Eden yeah. McKellen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton and of cameos. And it was super dark. He's just like, you are going to die, yeah, child. Yeah, you're going to be old man, and I'm well, going to come Well, the real question is, yeah. does Tom Cruise from The Last Samurai, at any point in time, do you think he ever meets Tom Cruise? Whoa. I'm just saying, that's where this is obviously going. If we're pulling them all into the real world so someone can die, because if Last Samurai goes into The Last Action Hero... Neither of them can die because neither of them die in their movies. Right. Tom Cruise, uh, Nathan Algren gets like stabbed and shot a bunch of times. So I think we're we're pulling everybody into the real world, right? That's what I mean. Like, so if you pull him in the real world, which I agree with you, mm-hmm. in both movies within the movie or whatever you want to yeah. say, they avoid death real well. So you toss him in the real world, but that implies that there's there's, a, there's the Jack Slater plus Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. there's Nathan, but also Tom Cruise, sure. So I'm just, you know, I'm, making, I'm trying to make the rules. Yeah, here's clear. here here's kind of an issue with that. If he meets the real Tom Cruise, I I assume that was before Tom Cruise went head fucking first into like action, mm-hmm. where he you know knows how to fly a helicopter. He did a fucking halo jump. He's hanging off the side of buildings because right. I feel like real Tom Cruise could fight. Nathan Algren <laughs> because he is Tom Cruise and he did those things and he actually did those things. You know what I mean? Right. So he's really like an, a last action ho- hero is what you're trying to say. He Tom is. Cruise. Tom Cruise mm-hmm. is the last action hero. It's true. I've also heard tell uh, Hollywood gossip that Tom Cruise not on camera is like a creepy Frankenstein because he's super old. And he's like just being held together with he's stuff. He's like sucking people's and blood to keep young. No, you well mean? you can't. You can't really tell. Like he still looks young and fit in the movies, but it's very he very much dictates how his image is portrayed. Oh, for sure. And so when you see him in real life, so I've heard he's it's five like, six. Well, yeah, but it's also like <laughs> he's a yeah, skeleton. Are, yeah, like yeah. Are, are, is your cheek skin like on the back of your neck now? Like, oh my god, is he like a? Do you think he's like a T-800 or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's a shame because like he did uh, a, a few years ago, he did an interview with uh, whatever that um, the Nerdist podcast, which I used to listen to Chris Hardwick before I learned what a dick Chris Hardwick was. Mm-hmm. Um, and when he was on it, he like I was like, wow, this is great. Like Tom Cruise is so excited and interested in making movies like he sounded really like you know, positive and stuff. And I was like, wow, this guy might be like, maybe that whole jumping on the couch thing was just like a, a, a flub, you know? Yeah. Maybe he's just like a really cool dude. That's really in love with like cinema and stuff. But like, maybe he's not, <laughs> maybe that's just maybe. all image crap. Mm, Leah, yeah. Leah Remini did say he was like probably beating people. Oh, Oh man. Yeah. I didn't watch her whole documentary. Yeah. I, I don't think like, she ever saw Tom Cruise do it, but mm-hmm. it was like she saw some real shitty stuff he did. Yeah. So maybe Tom Cruise <laughs> is the villain of this movie. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe Tom Cruise is just a villain. <laughs> yeah. Of this movie <laughs> called My Life. Well, maybe we'll maybe just, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the real hero we need. We fight the idea of had an affair and secret children. <laughs> yeah, he's also like, a real life villain, kind of like he had secret yeah. children with like his maid well, and. <laughs> Well, wow, people are just bad. Well, let's think about it. Like, how many golden tickets are there in the world? Like, this guy gives this kid one golden ticket. I, yeah, are there more and than they one rip it in one per movie theater. They right? rip it in half. <laughs> That's a lot of movie one. tickets. They rip it in half, and both ends have magic. So, yeah. could you potentially rip it into like a hundred tiny yeah, pieces? Exactly. Yeah, I imagine Whoa. so. Could you like dust it and then just like blow the dust on a bunch of people? Whoa. And everybody has that power. What if you ingest it? Okay. Do you just or, become Or if that? you take a little bit of ticket and you like implant it under your skin, do you always have movie transport powers? I'm going to assume <laughs> yes, Colin. All right. <laughs> because the logic in the movie is said if you just have a piece of this magic paper, right. you don't need to have the whole thing. And it sort of worked for the kid, but it always worked if you're a fictional character. Yeah. 
then you could you didn't even have to like necessarily touch it. You could just get its powers and proxy. Yeah, basically. I mean, that's what happened with Ian McKellen. He just kind of like was near it and came out of his movie. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm just assuming we're in a, like a real cool world situation when mm-hmm. like someone ground up the ticket into dust right. and just like blew it inside a blockbuster. And I, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're saying this is like an early '90s Ready Player One? Yes, it's, it's yes. Really Ooh, just all I like that. So yeah. like, there's like a Japanese flower scene. It's beautiful, but instead of pink flowers, it's a bunch of dust from a golden ticket for yeah. some reason. And Tom, <laughs> and I've got a golden ticket. And Ken Watanabe's like, they're all beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> all the golden tickets. And then he's like, <laughs> Gojira. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did put him in those movies just to say Godzilla. Yeah, he said it so much. Yeah, he did a great job. I imagine. But, uh, so Are you saying he comes out of his movie and says Godzilla a bunch of times? <laughs> sure. Because right behind Why him not? is Godzilla. Whoa. He also got the dust on him. <laughs> it's a real ultimate showdown of ultimate <laughs> destiny. King of everything, man. Wow. Yeah. King of the real world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Godzilla versus the real world versus road rules. It's crazy. <laughs> Welcome back to real world. Here we have a 2,000 foot tall lizard king. What Making trouble set? in the house. Oh, <laughs> Doesn't want to do the dishes. Yeah, Godzilla didn't wash the dishes. Let <laughs> them fight. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Ken Watanabe's in the real world house. Let them fight. <laughs> yeah, Someone's Godzilla versus Chad in this one. <laughs> Chaz Chad. refuses to get a job. <laughs> and Godzilla's accusing Godzilla mad about of fucking it. his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Godzilla, I know it was you. Chad's fucking Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla's not happy about it. My bed it. sheets were on fire, dog. <laughs> Who else could have done that? So uh, we, <laughs> I think we can all So we can all agree that uh, Godzilla and Kim went with an with an He just opened Chad's mouth and blew fire into it. Chad's gone. <laughs> We got an open room in the house. Is that right. drama? Hey, all is it oh the shit! Last samurai. <laughs> so anyway, it, like like you were saying, uh, everyone joins the real world, the cool world. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck. Yeah. There you go. And by that, I mean the actual planet Earth, and not a an MTV show you probably don't even know about. Right. They all join early '90s New York City, which is full of creeps. Yeah, man. Wow. What a rough depiction of. New York yeah. City, which yeah. Tom Cruise fits in real well, apparently. Yeah. I got, I gotta say, like uh, the kid gets robbed in like the first four minutes that he's on screen or whatever, yeah. and yeah. it's like the guy that robbed him is just like, you don't have anything. And yeah, it's you're like dumb. Dude, what were you thinking? What, what were you thinking? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> just like yeah. I'm in this scary apartment building. <laughs> Turns out I don't have any money. <laughs> kid, where's your jewels? <laughs> hey, kid, where's your retirement Man. account? Come on. I will say it's still like a skeezy scene. Like you're like, oh, it's a fun movie, right? Yeah. And then this guy with like black finger crust is just like, yeah, get in the bathroom, kid, and lock yourself up. And she's like, oh my god, what the fuck? Arnold, come back, yeah, please. Can this be fun? This isn't fun. Godzilla, you don't have any jewels in your house or anything. Right. And then you just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lock yourself in the bathroom, Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla, you have a fucking VCR, you piece of shit. <laughs> Godzilla had a rough night of drinking. We're going to have to hit him to, with an atomic bomb <laughs> to rejuvenate him. All right, so your name's Godzilla. Okay, your mother's still on shift as a waitress. Uh, you're just going to have to wait here at the police station. <laughs> All right, guys. Let him wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Corey, that was funnier than you think it was. I, d- I think it's hilarious. Okay, sorry, you just looked at me. Like, I was crazy. I was trying to read the room. Like you know, I'm just trying to. Like, Are we having fun? your emotions? Are we having fun? How do I do this? It's Please one of those help. sociopathic things where I just try to mock everyone's emotions. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, I, I always wondered why Corey had like a like a two second delay on everything. <laughs> <laughs> After we laugh, Corey looks around inquisitively, and then somebody starts- pull out his skin to see if it's not a T eight hundred. I'm not. Don't worry about it. Turns out he's not here. We just take a microphone over to his house like a week later, and we're like, "Hey, just uh, say some filler." And he's like, "I don't know what the episode sure, is about. Um, just say some stuff." That was real funny. Oh, a dick joke. Great. <laughs> so if they get pulled into the real world right and tom cruise is like 
oh man, the white man's here again to try and stop my... He's like really into the Japanese culture now. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's like, oh, another guy <laughs> that's coming to try... He's got, he's got a, a better pistol than my pistol. So this must be Western right. culture trying to come in to my Japanese sensibilities. Oh, maybe he has to go around and find out, like, all right, I'm defending old Japan. I got to find out where Japan goes. And he goes on, like, a little, like, montage. Mm -hmm. And then he comes back, and he's got, like, a fedora on. <laughs> Hello and a Kitty wife, backpack. Yeah, Hello Kitty backpack. <laughs> and he's just like... <sighs> Turns into a weed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is where this is what I fought for. This is what Ken Watanabe died for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thinks it worked. Like oh. you know what I'm saying? Like he has no idea if what what they did worked or not. Because the Emperor is very much at the end of that movie, like, thank you, you're right. Uh fuck new Japan. Like I want old Japan. Yeah. And he's like, Alright, now I can go in peace. And then he gets ripped out of the movie, yeah. and so he's like, let's find out what Ken wants and Nubby's dream accomplished. Just buying oh, used panties. Joey, I was about <laughs> oh to go goodness. there. Yeah, just, just like, this. no, he's just on his knees. This is what he died for. It's like a Pikachu <laughs> but, mascot but walks he, by. And yeah, but he's him. so like... I must respect Japanese culture now that he thinks it's th what he yeah, needs to respect. To, uh, yeah, exactly. Right. That's like, you know, you buy it and like present the panties to somebody like in a street, like it's a big ritualistic thing. The last yeah. weeb. <laughs> <laughs> right. Some, yeah, he. it's very, like he's treating it very s religiously. Uh -huh. So like maybe he has a lady like folding up the panties <laughs> oh, and like presenting them to him and like tucking them into his uh, t-shirt pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very gentlemanly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's got Death Note and box set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so when, I think when uh, Jack Slater comes out of his movie, the little white kid's like, yeah, actually, that guy's a real life villain. He's a Scientologist. And oh, so so Jack Slater is tr is picked to, to kill Tom Cruise, but he can't tell the difference between Tom Cruise and Nathan. Uh, well, yeah, just like in yeah. The Last Action Hero, he's just like, there's that part with like, the right. other cop that's like he was a bad guy in this movie so you shouldn't trust him yeah right and he and killed mozart he, in yeah. amadeus Amade yeah, yeah, yeah he killed mozart every, and amadeus every, so don't so he, trust him yeah, yeah and then he does turn on him so i think that he's like oh yeah tom cruise the actor he's a villain because you know he's part of this crazy religion cult <clears throat> uh <laughs> and you should take out this character uh nathan algren Cause, and now he's really into weeb stuff, too, so that makes him even more of a certain type of villain. Like the headlines are everywhere. <laughs> he's a cul cultural villain. <laughs> cultural villain. A villain. Cultural villain. villain, villain culture. Like Avril Lavigne with that one new song, like the Hello Kitty song she does, yeah. where it's just like, what are you doing? You're way too white for this. You can't be she was, singing. She, was, she received a lot of money from a certain country for that music video, Joey. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I think, and yeah, the headlines are, since nobody knows what's going on, they're like, Tom Cruise is really into weeb shit now. Yeah. Even oh, though it's like just really like, unflattering photos. <laughs> yeah, Tom Cruise, you know, 20 years ago, so he looks great, obviously. But they're like, we can't tell the difference. He looks great in those new Mission Impossible movies, too. <laughs> <laughs> so this He's got long today. hair, because you know the next one, he has to have long hair in right. it. So yeah, I think that's how... Uh, Jack Slater and uh, Nathan Ogren are going to meet is that Jack Slater has to go defeat the evil Tom Cruise. The cultural villain. The cultural yeah, no. villain Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, now we have to decide how uh, their skill sets are going to line up for this fight because, I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a big beefy dude who can uh, fist fight. He has guns. Like in that scene where he pulls out like six guns, he's mm -hmm. like, "No, f all of your guns!" And well, he pulls you know, out all, all the Tom guns. Tom Cruise very famously in the Last Samurai does not like guns, right? So that's kind of how the did he feel about grenade knives? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> well, it's just funny. Like in the movie, like he comes back after being in isolation, and the guy's like, "Hey, look at all these Gatling guns!" It's kind of like the exact opposite of what you've been experiencing. Yeah. <laughs> look at all these brand new cannons. It's crazy. What were you up to? Oh, swords? That's cool. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Yeah, man. That's real neat. Anyway, <laughs> Gatling guns. <laughs> yeah. 
So, I don't know, because, like, Tom Cruise, I feel like this is just going to be, like, in the movie, The Last Samurai, where Tom Cruise is, like, riding, you know, well, <laughs> oh. what, what's popular, what's a popular, like, single-person transportation over in Japan right now? I don't now? know. Oh, he's riding way, a Segway. He's riding a Segway? Yes. He's, with, like, <laughs> all samurai gear and a sword on his back. Yes. And, Tom, and, Cru- and Tom, a Pikachu backpack. Yeah. And Tom Cruise is riding in a journal, like, this such interesting people. They're so nice to me. They all wear Pokemon outfits and like narrating <laughs> it. Like it's fascinating creatures. Their yeah. discipline is so extreme. It's they get up every day and go to the vending machine and buy panties. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Every day they drink the purest of Game of Girl bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Their uh, Starcraft I, game is through the roof. Man, yeah. we are super appropriating <laughs> what <laughs> we think Japanese culture is it's now. True. It's only a very small portion of Japanese. Yes, absolutely. Right. I will say, I just realized. Tom Common Cruise thread done. though, in both of these movies, um, in sort of sort of climactic faction, both characters play chicken. Yes, Tom oh, Cruise shit. plays chicken on a horse yeah. with cannons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, Arnold famously plays uh, chicken with cars. So maybe mm-hmm. Tom Cruise is on a modern horse. Segway. Segway. Or obviously. a bird scooter. You know, pick your poison. Mm-hmm. And uh, Arnold just. In a fucking uh, '93 uh, sable or whatever, <laughs> yeah, just Standard lighting a cigar as he's driving, right. and he's gonna say a cool one-liner, oh. which we will definitely have when we come back from this break. Staring at Tom Cruise, says his signature catchphrase, one liner, ice to meet you. <laughs> Boom. Yep, that's the I one. just Ryan Johnson to you guys. Whoa. Whoa. Subverted. You made a expectations. bad movie. A Ryan Johnson would be him not saying anything at all and him saying, <laughs> fucking deal with it. He doesn't say anything, and then he goes to a dumb casino planet and rides a bird. Arnold yeah. takes Tom Cruise and just casually tosses him over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and you never see him the rest of the movie. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan Johnson, uh-huh. is uh, his subversions is basically the song from Pootie Tang. <laughs> oh, the one that has no audio? Yes. It? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, what if it's nothing? <laughs> so that begs the question, if the last Jedi were just blank screen for two hours, everyone would be like, oh my god. Genius! If, oh my god, what better space film than a film? Not at all. So, he says his catchphrase, and then just continues to sit there for a minute. Nathan Algren is looking around at all these Japanese faces mm-hmm. on his Segway. Yep. And he's like, everybody, this is our moment. This is the time. Mm-hmm. This Western fuck from California is going to try and come and tell us that our culture is wrong yeah. and that we're the villains. And he's saying all this, but he's really wrong. It's just him. Right. Because right. he's, he's some guy who's been transported over yeah. 100 years to modern Japan. all this yeah. culture. Yeah. 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 He holds up his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He's like, they're trying to take this from us. He's yeah. got his dual disc on. He's yeah. got oh, his dual disc. And he's like, they're trying to take it. They're trying to take all of our super cool, convenient... <laughs> Uh, vending machines yeah. that give they're, us everything. They're trying to take our used panty vending machines, and everyone's like, that's not really a thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's really being blown up. You're not helping our cause at all. Right. <laughs> yeah, being this is what racist. represents us. They're trying to take our Hello Kitty backpacks. Yes. And the Japanese are all saying, you're a part of the problem, but they can't understand it because they're all saying it in Yeah, Japanese. I imagine there's like a, a nice close-up on his face, so maybe one tear just the one. Right. coming just the one. while he's saying all this. And right. then it cuts like a wide frame and all the Japanese people are just like walking around ignoring right. him. Yeah, yeah it's like a tourist to area. They, they have to be way better than us, so they, they can't sit and listen to a white guy on the street. Right. Yeah. He's like, they took Godzilla and put him in the real world! <laughs> How do you know they made Godzilla him a villain? Is? He killed Chad. <laughs> Chad. He atomic breath. Chad. Don't you remember what they did to him? He is ours. So 
Schwarzenegger, Godzilla, a lot of Z's. All I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Coincidence? I'm going to sign vote you guys really quick. What's up with that? <laughs> just What's the deal everything? with all the Z's? <laughs> anyway, sake. I'm really into this. Does anybody have any? Still an alcoholic. He's trying to take yeah. it. Yeah, it's a big thing, too. Like, the whole movie for Last Samurai is about him not being an alcoholic anymore. Yeah, kind of, sort yeah. of. Sure. Anyway, he's not I want to get really back into sake. Oh, it's way he, better He's found the, the sake vending machine. Yep. Oh, that was... <laughs> he thinks that Schwarzenegger's going to take away all the sake yeah. machines. Like, no! I can, his, I can put this plastic chip into a machine and it just prints sake for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're in debt. <laughs> You have no money. <laughs> He's trying to take our wizard technology. And everyone's like, everyone has debit cards, man. Yeah, dude. The samurai built these vending machines. No, they didn't. They, they absolutely didn't. This no, is what they... the samurai fought for, for these machines. <laughs> for convenience. He like, like set, set, stabs a blade into a vending machine that's closed and just pulls Sepico on it. Yeah. <laughs> All the, 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 the panties fall out of the glass. <laughs> <laughs> he died honorably. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom Cruise, after giving his epic speech, revs that little segue. And by Tom Cruise, we mean Nathan Algren. I mean Nathan, yeah, Nathan Algren. Algren. Gotta Horse. be clear. You're right. Nathan Algren pulls out, unsheathes his samurai sword, nice. right, and charges at the big metal horse. <laughs> Otherwise known as a car. <laughs> driven by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Coming at him. They drive to each other. The the score, it swells. It's amazing. Yeah. It's it's done by the guy who did, you know, the Hans Zimmer, I think he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably, and yeah. Uh, it cuts to shots of cherry blossoms. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's it's floating in the wind. Tigers. Slow and motion. Lions. Soiled panties floating in the wind. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, along with the pink petals, yes. Yeah, Tom yeah. Cruise looks so intense. His and, long hair is flowing. Yeah. Lots of slow-mo. Yeah. Yeah. Then, cut to a wide shot, normal time, he just gets hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> and all the Japanese people he's talking to did not follow him <laughs> not at all. follow him. And then, as Tom, oh, sorry, Nathan Algren's laying right. on the ground, he replays getting hit by the car in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> he, he reads, <laughs> in blue it's, tint, he yeah, looks back and goes, oh, Captain Hindsight, yeah. oh yeah. man. You see his bones break in <laughs> yeah. blue tint. <laughs> yeah. bones break. And he's laying on the ground, and Arnold Schwarzenegger steps out of the car. He turns and waves at all the fans. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. For the premiere of Terminator <laughs> Dark Fate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why he's in Japan in the first place. Yep. And he's like, oh, everyone, Tom Cruise here. <laughs> oh, my he- God. Tom he, Cruise is he amazing. He does his own stunts. Let's all get <laughs> I him had no time. I had no idea we were doing stunt promotions <laughs> for Dark Fate. Thanks, Jim. Very good. Looks like Tom Cruise <laughs> suffered a dark fate. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, he's probably fine. He's probably, look, he's, he does his own stunts. He's great. And then he just walks into the crowd. <laughs> but Tom Cruise, no mission's impossible. Am I right? Everybody, <laughs> clap your hands. <laughs> we'll see you inside, Tom. Great work. <laughs> No cruise control for Tom Cruise. Everybody, <laughs> clap your hands. I'll see you in a minute, Mr. Cruise. Tom, Maybe. Am I right? Nice to finally meet you, Mr. Cruise. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, poor He's such a great sport. And then he just walks inside, and Nathan Algren's laying on the ground mangled as Jack Slater pulls up in his Mercury Sable. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, kid, what the hell? This guy, he's, is that the guy? Like, <laughs> Yeah, and he says, see, kid, Mercury Sable, standard airbag. Segway, no, no fuck, way. nothing. <laughs> Broken bones. Broken bones. I told you. A snapped femur. <laughs> it's simple. And he gets out of the car. He waves at the fans. He goes into the premiere, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> He kneels, oh, down. He, he kneels down and says, no sequel for you. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> or no seventh quel for you. <laughs> you shouldn't have called it Last Samurai. Always give room for a sequel. Oh, yeah, nice. It sounds silly if you do Last Samurai 2. Like, what? <laughs> the second to Last Samurai? What are we talking about? It's a dumb franchise. Prequel? I don't know. Like, you really cornered yourself, <laughs> sir. Wait, there are many Samurai? What are you going to call that movie? You're dumb. You're about to be a ghost protocol. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, come see my new movie, Jack Slater, Dark Fate. (laughs) (laughs) 
hitting theaters in fall. <laughs> so he goes down to the to, to Nathan, who's you know thinking that he's. T- he somehow thinks he's died an honorable death, even though he's got <laughs> yeah. hit by a car. Your yeah. metal horses, yes. your Western <laughs> metal horses. You've you've defeated me in honorable contact. I guess if you want to call it that, I hit you. <laughs> he hit you with a car, whatever. Yeah, but it was a Toyota Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese infrastructure every time. And, <laughs> and then I'm gonna. You know, he pulls. He, he commits seppuku like in a traditional way, just like. Does Arnold like, help him? <laughs> Yeah, maybe Please. he like maybe he shoves the blade in, but then yeah. Tom Cruise is like, "Why he stabs him?" Looks at Schwarzenegger, or rather Jack, and goes, "Don't worry, I'll be back." <laughs> and he's like, "No, nah, that's not what that means. No, <laughs> you <don't laughs> get the line right. That's, yep. You will definitely, without a doubt, not be back." <laughs> and then and Jack Slater stunts. pulls out a grenade that turns into a knife, and he <laughs> sip it goes. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls like a, the, the pin out, but it's a knife instead, yeah. and the grenade just doesn't do anything. Yeah, and then as he seppukus himself, he explodes back into an ice cream truck, <laughs> right. and then right. the ice cream truck explodes. Hello Kitty popsicles everywhere, and Jack Slater catches one. Right, and all the Japanese Whoa. people are going, "Oh my God, Jack Slater! Thank you for the popsicles!" <laughs> catches one. No, it like goes into his forehead. And then the eyes of the Hello Kitty melt down over top of uh, Nathan Algren's eyes. And Man. the Japanese people are like, wow, new exploding vending machine. This oh, is great. Oh. <laughs> Thank God for Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> they all speak perfect English. Like, yeah. they heard Tom Cruise. Yeah, they just they ignored heard Nathan him. Algren. They just ignored him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Mr. Slater, thanks for coming up. <laughs> Wait, I thought you couldn't understand me. <laughs> so, Jack Slater has lived to make more sequels. Yes. To fight another day. Whoa. To be back. And he'll be back, guys, in the next Very Real Tournament. We're going to see him again. Yeah. I can imagine now Jack Slater doing a remake of The Last Samurai where he just <laughs> fucking shoots everyone down and the movie's 20 He's minutes mowing long. them down, yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> I am the last Samurai. And he just kills everybody. I don't yeah. know. Cherry blossoms are cool, but what about cherry bombs? <laughs> <laughs> And then the song plays, and it's great. And you know what? He does Avatar. He does Fern Gully. He does Dances with Wolves. He does them all. Why Mm -hmm. not? Sure. Pitch me any movie and add Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I'm in. And he can do it. Even movies have already been done. Last Samurai has been done. It's been done five times. Let's do them all. (laughs) I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden (laughs) ticket. Yeah, he Charlie, just, he we got to get out of here. He just kicks the shit out of Grandpa yeah. Joe, that lazy fuck. You lose. <laughs> Good day, sir. You gonna sit in bed, and make your eight-year-old grandson bring in all the money? What the? F- I Man, see him like f- Grandpa Joe. But they're like floating into the fan. He just kicks him in the nuts, and he just goes straight to the fan and gets cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rest I'm your well, biggest Grandpa. fan. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm your biggest fan. There we go. We nice. got it. Yeah. So. There we have it, guys. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jack Slater, taking a day on this episode of Very Real Tournament. Thank you all so much for listening to this episode. Uh, It's been a blast to talk about two action boys, two of the last boys (laughs) doing our last podcast. If we do any more, I'd be shocked, really. Right. Now we have to take a ceremonial knife Mm -hmm. and stab it right into the heart of Joey's computer. We're done. (laughs) We're done here. Yeah, it's fine, because he's going to be getting the sequel computer, his new Alienware laptop. Oh, yeah, that's yes. right. The two-in-one that doesn't exist. <laughs> he just kind of, Wherever he goes, it's like this light show, just like... <laughs> <laughs> you paid $4,000 for these LEDs. That's the when it opens it, instead of the Dell music, it says that every time. <laughs> well, by Japanese, though, because the samurai fought so hard for two-in-one For Alienware. Yeah, like they, for flip tablets, <laughs> computer... Hybrids, yeah. At the end of the last samurai, he hands the emperor a two in one alienware <laughs> laptop, like and covered in blankets. <laughs> Katsumoto wanted you to have this alienware. You can play Fortnite whenever you want. <laughs> if you want to check out any of our other episodes, head over to our website. That's vrtcast.com. That's the place where you can find our other podcast. It's called Very Real Talk. Ch- it's a slice of life podcast where we talk to you and we promise we will never lie. We never lie. 
on this podcast, sure, we do. All yeah, so we you, lie all you could time. be lying about that right now. You're right. right. Oh. And I won't tell nice. you. I guess you got to listen to find out. But yep. what's not a lie is you can find this podcast on all the podcast apps. Podbeam, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts. Mm-hmm. Are we on YouTube still? We're still on YouTube. Spotify. We're on Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're there. So check us out. You can find us anywhere. Yep. Also, if you're on any of those, just go ahead and give us a little, you know, subscribe, rate, review, oh, like, yeah. all that stuff. We Five stars, it. ten stars, all the stars. Make multiple power. accounts. <laughs> just spend a day just making a bunch of bot accounts. Right. Get them to five-star our podcast. I love it. If you do that, we'll shout you out on this podcast, baby. Imagine, <laughs> like, you're Tom Cruise and this podcast is Japanese culture. And yeah, you and you really, really... got to take some really time and you'll learn all about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Also, make sure to hit us up on any of our social media, Facebook, Insta, uh, Twitter. We're on all of them. If you want uh, to uh, talk to us, ask us a question, give us your opinion. Right. You got fight ideas? Come on, throw them at us. We're probably not going to do them, but you know, it's (laughs) worth a shot. You might have something we haven't thought of. Absolutely. We'll take any and all, for sure. And as usual, listeners, you guys got some homework to do. You got two weeks. We're giving you plenty of time. That's okay. how much time we yeah. have, and we make time for it. Yeah. And then we do a podcast on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got time. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, and I'm not saying it's going to be fun either. <laughs> I'm not promising anything. Because <laughs> right. okay. your homework is a little bit more detailed than usual. Right. Your homework is go down to a pawn shop, <laughs> buy a Super Nintendo <laughs> system, yep. put in Metroid, mm-hmm. and fight Ripley, oh, I tricked you. Get Alien 3 on Super Nintendo. Also, <laughs> no! Super Metroid, because it's Ripley versus Ridley. That's that's a great point. The, yeah. Both those games are on Super Nintendo. <laughs> right. can, Just saying. One's better than the other, and I guarantee you, you know which one it is. Yep. That's it, guys. Ripley from the Alien franchise right. versus Ridley from the Super Metroid yeah. franchise. Right. Big, scary, purple alien monster. Yeah. The coolest female Ter- protagonist, arguably, mm-hmm. in all of movie history versus a some purple okay, pterodactyl so space pirate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're trying to put the spotlight on the female. This season's been pretty dude heavy, uh, as is most of our podcasts. I'm trying to put the spotlight on the purple pterodactyl. Okay, I'm fair. Saying. He's also a pirate. That, uh, He's also a pirate. I think there's I mean, room for on. both. Yeah. I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's it, guys. You got to play a, an old, old video game. One of the best video games of all time. I mean, yeah. A, I mean, right. Alien 3 of... was very good. Okay. So, there are plenty of great <laughs> games besides Super Metroid. You can play some of the new ones. Either way, Metroid, you guys got it versus Alien. Yeah. Or just go watch some Let's Plays. I'm sure people yeah, are doing speed exactly. runs. You know what I'm saying? We're not asking you. I watched a robot do like a 10 minute speed run of Super Metroid. Shit. Whoa. A, a, what do you mean, a robot? A robot. Like, a program. Uh, wow. Oh, did this was this robot <laughs> vomiting milk the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> it was John Hurt. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> R.I.P. John Hurt. R.I.P. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We can never forget. <laughs> never forget. His greatest performance was the Let's Play of Super Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Get super pumped for the next episode. We'll see you then. Let's get out of here. I'm Nick Potter. I'm Joey Potter. Colin Sage. Corey Music. And it hasn't just been real. It's been very real.